In this video, we're going to take a look at patterns and graphs. Our essential question is, how can I tell if a graph is showing repeated addition or multiplication? So by the end of this video, you should be able to recognize the difference between additive and multiplicative patterns in a graph. So here's our first example, and the points in the graph represent a numerical pattern. Is the numerical pattern shown between the x and the y values additive or multiplicative? And how do you know the pattern is additive, or how do you know it is multiplicative? Let's take a look at our three points of importance. Our first point is 1, 3. The x value is 1, the y value is 3. Our second point is 2, 6. And our third point is 3, 9. When we're looking for patterns between the x and y values, we always start with the x values and we ask ourselves the question, what are we doing to x in order to find y? So let's start off with our first x value, 1, 3. It may be helpful to go ahead and write down the points in a table. So I'm going to write down my x values and then my y values. And an x value of 1 corresponds or matches to a y value of 3. An x value of 2 corresponds or matches to a y value of 6. And an x value of 3 matches the y value of 9. So again, we ask ourselves the question, what do we have to do to x to get to 3? So from 1 to 3, we could either add 2 or multiply by 3. Let's first see if it's an additive pattern. We add 2. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Then we go from the 2. If we add 2 to the 6, excuse me, if we add 2 to the 2, do we end up with 6? The answer is no. So it cannot be an additive pattern. Let's see if it will be a multiplicative pattern. So we start back at 1. And we say 1 times what equals 3? Well, 1 times 3 equals 3. 2. Does 2 times 3 equal 6? Yes, it does. What about 3? 3 times 3, does that equal 9? Yes, it does. So since we can multiply x by the same number every single time in order to find the corresponding y value, that means it must be a multiplicative pattern. So how do we know it's a multiplicative pattern? Again, we know it's multiplicative because we multiply the x values by a number in order to find the y values. Let's take a look at this in a multiple choice format. And let's figure out which of the following answer choices is most correct, given what we just got through learning. Go ahead and pause the video, read through the answer choices, and select the one that you think is best. And we'll go over it together. Answer choice A. It is a multiplicative pattern because each y coordinate has a higher value than the corresponding x coordinate. So if we look at it, all of the y values are bigger than their corresponding x values. So that one's kind of tempting to put down as true. So we'll put a question mark next to that one. It is a multiplicative pattern because each x coordinate is multiplied by 3 to create the corresponding y coordinate. And we just got there doing this, and this is absolutely the truth. We take the x times 3 to get the y. And we saw that on the table. I'm going to go ahead and read the rest of the answer choices just to make sure there's not something that's more correct. It is an additive pattern because each y coordinate has a higher value than the corresponding x coordinate. We realized in the previous video looking at a table that it is not an additive pattern, so it cannot be C. D, it is an additive pattern. We also know it can't be D, so it's either A or B. The more correct answer is B. And that's because we know it's a multiplicative pattern because we multiply the x values by 3 to get the y values. Let's take a look at a second example. Go ahead and pause the video, try working this out on your own, and press play to see the answer. So 
So since we're looking for a multiplicative or an additive pattern, I'm going to go ahead and make a table for all of the x and y value pairs, or coordinates. So our first one, x is 1 and y is 4. So x is 1, y is 4. Our second value, x is 2 and y is 5. And our third value, x is 3 and y is 6. So we ask ourselves the question, what do we do the x values in order to get to the y values? Let's start off with checking to see if it's an additive pattern. What do we have to do to 1 or add to 1 to get 4? Well, if we add 3, we get 4. Is 2 plus 3 equal to 5? It is. What about 3? Is 3 plus 3 equal to 6? And it is. So since we can add the same number to each of the x values in order to find the corresponding y values, we know it's an additive pattern. Reading through the answer choices, we notice that A says multiplicative pattern, so it cannot be A. We notice C also says a multiplicative pattern, so it cannot be C. Let's see if it's B. It is an additive pattern because each Y coordinate has a higher value than the corresponding X coordinate. Well, this is true. All of our Y values are bigger than our X values, so I'm going to put a question mark. D. It is an additive pattern because each X coordinate is increased by 3 to create the corresponding y coordinate. Well, that's a little bit interesting. It didn't say we added a number to the x every single time. Instead, it used this word increased by. Well, in math, the word increased or the words increased by are the same as adding. So we know that we added 3 to each of the x coordinates to find the corresponding y coordinate. And that's the truth. Therefore, D is the more correct answer because we're looking at what we're adding to X in order to find Y for each coordinate.